Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. This morning, uh, the church together, we read Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. The hand of the Lord was on Ezekiel when he brought him out by his spirit and set him down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bone. The Lord led him around them. First, the Lord gave Ezekiel a vision, a vision illustrating the promise of a new life, resurrection, and restoration, physical, spiritual, of the nation. The title of the message is, We Serve a God of Resurrection. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, the valley of dry bones. In this chapter, we also hear that God commands Ezekiel to prophesy about what God is going to do. Talk about what Ezekiel is going to do, he's prophesying about what God is going to do. We hear about what only God can do, and how he does it, and when he does it. Everything that happens in the chapter comes from a vision from the Holy Spirit. But why does God command Ezekiel to prophesy when he can do it himself? Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. And the word is obedience. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel prophesied as his being command from God. He prophesies three times in that chapter. Ezekiel speak the word of the Lord to those born. Speak the word of life on what appear dead. Everything that happens in the valley, why is it a valley? Mm. We're going to get to that also. Okay, <laughs> all right. In our life, sometimes we get experience, look on old, even appear dead sometimes. Mm. That can be a dream. God gave in our heart a long time ago. We took it as a promise, but the time go by in the years, and it went on the side. We almost forgot about it. Turns out as the promise changed for maybe sometime, it will be accomplished. The zeal and the excitement went down. And we are stuck in the waiting zone. That can be a circumstance in your life being installed for so long. Like a pattern being repeat and repeat over and over. And you want to change that circumstance. Even when it you want it out of your life. It's that a healing, a deliverance you're waiting for, uh, praying for salvation to the loved ones, and you are in a discouraged zone. It can be a relation, no more like it used to be, can hardly recognize it, become so different than what you used to be, comfort, change or in comfort. Mm. Are you speaking about the circumstance or to the circumstance? Mm -hmm. Are you speaking about the mountain in your life or the, to the mountain in your life? Speak the word of life on circumstance to the circumstance and to your mountain. Okay, amen. And I, I wrote down two verses. Mark 11, 23, 24. I assure you, if anyone say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, mm -hmm. and does not doubt in his heart, but believes 
that what he said will happen, it will be done for him. Yes, amen. amen. And Isaiah 55, 11. So my word that comes from my mouth will not return to me empty, right. but it will accomplish what I please, and I will prosper in what I send it to do. Amen. Amen. Well, we can see Ezekiel was prophesying to the bones. The bones may be your circumstances. They're going to live again. And we know that this is a resurrection. And the resurrection is the bringing back to life or to memory or to use. It is also bringing back to the surface by erosion, which is the wearing away or the washing away of something by water, wind, or ice. The valley may be represent, excuse me, the valley may represent a mass grave, but we have valleys in our own lives that we would like to get out of. Mm -hmm. That valley being a low point in your life, in anything. God's timing in any prophecy it is it's at his own disposal in his own time the time he decides yes Ezekiel 37 verse 7 10 and 12 tell us this in verse 7 it's happening when it's happening will he is speaking in verse 10, it's happenings after he speaks. And in verse 12, it is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is asking to do a resurrection in your life mm -hmm. today. All you have to do is to speak his word in faith and ask with every intention to honor and glorify God in everything you ask for. In Matthew 17, 20, um, my wife is going to read this. Because of your little faith, he told them, For I assure you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will tell this mountain, move from here to there, yes. and it will move. Mm -hmm. Nothing will be impossible for you. Mm -hmm. James 3, it's James 4, 3 in the asking part. You ask and you do not receive right. because you ask a mess. Yes. But you may spend it on your own mm -hmm. pleasures. I'd like to add a little bit here that uh, this This has been a test for my wife and I. And the victory in Jesus in Jesus, because we are able to stand here today and uh, pass this message, which is probably in our married life the hardest thing we've done. All glory to God for that. Amen. And Satan all over us in every way you can imagine in the last few days. I want to give all the glory to God for our yes. being here today. Amen. Even this morning, Satan tried to stop us. But I'd like to say, in a nutshell, Ezekiel done what he was told to do, and things happened. Mm -hmm. So the fruit from obedience is life. Mm -hmm. Let life be imperfect. Be what God wants you to be, and believe in God's words first. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to close today with a prayer mm -hmm. from the wife. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come to you, the church, everyone will be here, and the one who listen. We come with a heart of repentance. If we believe the circumstances in our lives are 
we look to the mountain instead of looking at you. And we were disgraced. We might sometime uh, put us apart in a whole place. We come to you and we ask you for forgiveness. We ask the Holy Spirit, the four wings, like it said, come and breathe over those circumstances, over those mountains we can have in our lives. If it's a relationship, have to be healed. If it's a physical healing, if it's a dream you put in our heart, God, yes. and the enemy came and steal it, and we would no more think about it, well, we come to you, and we ask for forgiveness with a heart of repentance. Yes. Lord, raise up our faith. Not even breathe on those circumstances, but make us speak your word, your word of life, because your word is the living words. Your words is your power, God, mm. in action. Yes. Keep us our eyes on you. And make us look to the circumstance with your eyes. Help us to love with your heart. Yes, Lord. Father God, help us to speak your word on every situation. Because Jesus, what Jesus done on the cross, he accomplished it all. No circumstance, no situation, no mountain is about what Jesus done on the cross. Mm. That's the authority through Jesus inside us. Yes. So take the whole place, our God, through Jesus. The Holy Spirit guide us and we change the way we've been thinking about those circumstances. By your way to speak, your way you teach us day after day after day. Mm -hmm. We put our trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I just wait to say something. I almost forgot here. There's a very important part. This is my imperfection showing up here. You already have had your first resurrection. Mm -hmm. This was your acceptance of Christ and your baptism into him. Ezekiel 36, 25 to 27 tells us, this is God speaking, Then I will sprinkle clean water on you. That's the erosion we talked about in the resurrection. And you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of you, out of your flesh, and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. If you have not already received this resurrection, today is the day to be cleansed by the baptism of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.